How's it going? Welcome to Life with Bill. As you seen on the last video there, we got the engine running. It was just a short video, but I wanted to show you that. So now that the engine's running, I've moved on to different things I have. So basically where I'm at right now is I've got the exhaust bolted back up under the truck. I got to time it, but we're not doing that today because I don't want to fire it up in here. It's cold out tonight. It's supposed to be about 50 next week. So we're going to wait because you got to open the doors and everything else. It stinks the truck up. But I did find a drive shaft for the old truck. Thanks, John, for that. We got this universal on here with the part that goes into the transmission. And this one here, I had to order because the aluminum drive shaft has a different size cup than the rear end, as you see. So we had to order another universal joint for that. And if anybody's going from a 10 bolt GM rear end to aluminum drive shaft in an older style truck, the universal you need is, hold on, I might as well give it to you while I'm here, eh? Why wouldn't I? That's what I do. It's an AC Delco 45U0113. And what that does is it gives you the small and the big. So it fits in the rear end. So that makes sense, doesn't it? Where am I picking up all this fucking oil from? We also got the gauges mounted in the truck which I don't know if I showed you or not. There they are there. And I put a cheap tack in too, because I don't have a tack. So now I got oil, water and tackage. So what I want to do today with you, if you want to watch, it's up to you. I got everything hooked up on the tack, including the wire here, but I want to run it so it's neat and tidy. Because as you know, I like neat and tidy sometimes. The way I'm going to run this wire is, I'm not sure yet, because the truck's jacked way up and I got new ties for the the spark plugs too so we're gonna have to end up doing that as well but I think I'm gonna go down and around and up and through or something I'm not sure leave a comment down below if you know I really don't know which way I'm gonna go with this actually it's kind of bugging me right now probably go through there first thing we got to do is wrap it in something let's get some wrappage <gasps> <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> well, here it is. It wasn't a bad wrap, eh? We did cover this full of friggin' transmission fluid. So, let's get the other end. That's the end with the transmission fluid on. It's all cocked over. Oh, yeah. Oh, also, if as you see over there in the corner, my glass jars were all starting to break in the cold whenever I fill them up. So I ended up going to Princess Auto and get some of the red uh, storage bins over there. So we got that done as well while I've been off camera for a couple days. Just getting some stuff, you know, straightened around, if you know what I mean. Hopefully we'll get a chance this weekend to get the rear bumper off the truck. Like I said, it's freaking cold out today. And I'm not really into it because this garage doesn't heat up all that great because there's no insulation in it. So... It kind of sucks when you want to be warm, if you know what I mean. I really don't want to spend a lot of money on heat in this place either. Because it's not insulated, as you know. It's, well, it's not very insulated, as you know, I should say. There, we'll get that in a little ways. That'll make me feel better. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you've been up to. Because I'm always curious. The wifey Pooh's birthday was yesterday, so we had a little birthday party for her. She's got me beat by a couple months, she does. Eh? Is that long enough? Pretty much. I'm pretty sure that's enough right there, Captain. Friggin' right it is. All right, so we'll cut this off right about here, and we'll cut this off right about here. Hopefully it's long enough. Look at them friggin' gauges. They look friggin' decent. Things are coming along here, Captain. I'll show you my crossover pipe that I made temporarily underneath the truck, but it's pretty bubble gummy. We're gonna have to put exhaust on this truck sooner or later. Probably later than sooner though. As long as it doesn't make a lot of noise, I'm happy. Like I said, there's some things in life, you just gotta wait. You can't expect everything to be done all at once. And I get a lot done in a short period of time, as you see. And the wife gave me a hard time about it, so I gotta slow down before I get 
what I want. Hey, if you know what I'm saying, Captain. Oh yeah, can we get it through here? Can you see it? Probably not. Can you feel it? Probably not. I can't see nothing, I can't feel nothing. Can't step on the tire, cause it's off the ground, I'll break my freaking neck. Come on. Here, let's go down first, and then I can kinda slip it back up somewhere here. Maybe. Can you see over there? I can't see nothing. Oh, here it is. There we go. That's the only problem when you're getting too many wires on a vehicle. There's nowhere to put everything. It just starts to become a cluster fuck. That wire is way too long still. What happened? Unless I go this way, and then I can go back this way with these ones. That'll work. Then I'll stick it in here. Actually, push that like that, stick it here. There we go. And then I can kind of tape that together. It's gonna be all right, I think, like that. Friggin' right it is. It's kind of nice to truck come equipped with the uh, attack wire. Also, I gotta plug, unplug that down here to time the truck. I thought it was over there, but it's actually down here. Where were you guys on that one? Thanks for helping me on that one. Appreciate it. You guys should have said, hey, Bill, it's not there, it's over here. Why would you? Okay, here we go, you ready? I'm not. Well, I am, but I'm not. Well, I could be, maybe. Get on there, you dirty bastard. Why are you gonna be such a dickhead? Thank you. All right, here we go. Tape it, wrap it. Oh, come on. There we go. Perfect, so I'll stick that. Oh no, not perfect, hold on. We're working on it. Somebody on one of the reviews of this tape mentioned that tape doesn't stick very good. And I have to agree with that. One of the rolls was really good, and one of the rolls absolutely suck. So I'm not sure what exactly that is, but watch that tape you buy. Some of it's good, some of it ain't. Just tell you right now. So there we go, that's on there. That looks good down there. Put that down there, that looks good. Good, good, good. All right, so we got our tack wire ran, and we can't even see it. I can't see it, so we're good. That looks good. We'll get the wire straightened out. I can smell antifreeze, but that's because I blew it up everywhere. So yeah, that's where I am on this thing, so it's come along pretty good. Like I said, when I get the drive shaft in, we'll be able to check, test out the transmission. See how it's working. And I'll do the spark plugs later because, I don't, like I said, I can't get in there right now. I got all these things off Amazon right here. Look at these things. See, they're just little clippies with screws on them. Look at it. It's perfect. It comes with an Allen key. And I also bought two packs. Why am I smelling antifreeze really bad? What's going on here? Let's check into that later too. Time and late from work. How you doing? Make sure you don't start the engine with that in there. Okay. There you go. Look at that. Two packs. So we'll be able to put lots of clips here and there and everywhere on the old wires to keep them all together, which will look pretty good, I think. Got my other heater hose on, which I'm not happy with. Because as you see here, it kind of does a big loop-de-loop -loop, and there's no real way of doing it and it just kind of looks like shit, but I, I don't know what else to do. Like, I don't want it on top of the valve cover. I can't go behind that because then it kinks. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you would do with that. Because I'm just not too thrilled about that right now. If anybody's got any ideas, I'd love to hear them. I'm just thrilled with the way this is coming. I'm just glad everything's working out. And I'm surprised I found the right drive shaft, or the right uh, universal for this drive shaft that blows me away. I'm surprised I found the right drive shaft, period, for the truck. But now you know there's the right fucking drive shaft for the truck. Man, oh man, that heat feels good in here. I got her on 7,500 watt, and she's making some heat right now, so I'm getting nice and toasty. We should take a look under the back and see how hard that bumper is to get off. Let's have a gander. It's back near the door and it's cold back there, but let's have a gander anyway. Oh, don't tell me I left that light going. Sure did. I left the light on all night long. Deader and dicks. Daddy dad. Daddy dad. Just friggin' blew through the battery on this light I did. Well, plug her in. Off the letter charge up. I happen to have another one. I happen to have a few lights kicking around, if you know what I'm saying. I got a rotten headache tonight. Anybody else? Leave a comment down below. Fuck. All right, so if you look back here, oh, no problem. Just bolts on. 
Fuck, it's like a five minute job. Need to put some penetrating oil on them bolts, so we do. The nice thing about this, when I get it off, I can actually paint the back of the bumper too. Man, I like to do a frame off of this truck. It's just way too much work to do. I just can't do it, man. Me? Can't do a frame off. But at least everything unplugs. Oh, careful. We can unplug that, unplug that, and then the whole bumper will just fall right off, Captain. So yeah, we'll take that bumper off for the weekend, we'll tape her up, we'll take her in, and we'll get her get her painted because we can't have that like that, if you know what I mean. So that's kind of nice. When he shaved it, he just welded the bolts like I did on my old truck. So that's good. Might have to heat them bolts up a little bit to get them off, but so we don't, you know, break them off in the bumper. We get to adjust this bumper down too a little bit when we put it back on. She's high on one side, which we can probably do up here somewhere. Yeah, freaking right we can. Probably do up there somewhere, you can't see. Sorry about that. Don't let me forget to check my blue lights that are under here too, because I think I still got some black tape on some of them. We can't really have that, can we? Should we take this bumper off right now? We probably could, eh? We wouldn't, uh, I gotta unhook the light and everything though, don't I? I unplug that, and I unplug this. Then I'd have to unplug that which is different to that. So I'd have to cut this, which is okay, because that's no big deal to do. So really, all you can do is cut that. Let's see if this the bolts come out of this thing. Let's do that instead. It's not like it matters if I drop it or anything. It's gonna get painted anyway. Not that I wanna drop it, I'm just saying. Can you see? I can't. This light's not very good for what we're doing here, boys. We got minimum glowage. There we go. Can you see? Probably not. All right, let's see if these bumper, it comes loose. Oh man. I think we're gonna have to meat. That one came off. Oh. Let's throw some penetrating oil on that. We'll leave it for the night. <laughs> As you know, these bumpers are Shaved. The studs have been welded into the bumper. So if you put too much strain on them, we'll end up breaking them off of the bumper. And then we'll have to re-weld them on. It'll cost more money to paint the bumper. I know this is rust check, but it's better than nothing. <sighs> Let's try one more. Ready? I'm not. Perfect. Hey, would you look at that? How about this one? Nope. Oh, look at that. I got the paint up there too. Frank, I'm seeing spots every time I look at this truck. Yeah, I got to paint all up along here. What's really going on? The rear ends. The rear ends leaking there too. Oh, it's even spraying all over the fucking drive shaft. What the fuck? That's all brand new last year. Oh, God. There's probably no oil left in this fucking thing. Actually, it's not leaking there at all. It's leaking just from there. So we're going to have to pull that back off and check that seal again before we put the drive shaft in. I love doing things twice. Of course the camera's falling off my head again. Oh, well, there you go. So it's not a bad update. We, we're uh, kind of telling you what's going on here. You know, I want to get this all truck all ripped apart and take right the frame right off of it and redo the whole frame and put her back together. There's my welds if you're wondering what they look like on the crossover pipe. And I got that crossover pipe bent so the transmission or the dry shaft clears it. So it actually looks pretty cocked over, but it does a trick if you know what I'm saying. I figured to show you that one right here. We're coming, we're getting there. This truck's never gonna be perfect because I'm too picky, but it's pretty good. It's not the shittiest one on the road and it's not the best one on the road, so we're somewhere. We're doing something right. And these welds will never rust up here because it's got gear oil all over it. That thing is, must just be given her the old spray ruski. Still makes you wonder why. Wonder why on a lot of things, but that's one thing I do wonder why. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification if you like these little update videos. I know this isn't anything special. 
it's pretty informative if you know what I mean you know we're here just telling you what's going on and what we need to do to make things better and if I had an endless bank account this would be going a whole lot differently we'd have this thing off the fucking frame right now I'm on a very 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 tight budget this was supposed to be my funding for my freaking channel is all this kind of stuff but it doesn't work that way hey now we're in the real life I suck ass that's why it is what it is sure is oh boys anyways I love y'all and uh, we'll see you on the next one.